I believe one of the biggest struggles when it comes to dating as a queer person is that there really aren't a whole lot of resources available for us to learn how to date. And it's because it's a heteronormative society. If you were to go on Google and look up how to date girls, you're gonna find top 10 results being advice for men, for men who are interested in women. And a lot of that advice honestly is pretty horrible in that it's sexist, misogynistic, all those synonyms. Hi, my name is Lisa and welcome to my YouTube channel. I make YouTube videos about LGBT dating and my dating journey. In this video, I wanna share with you my story and how I went on my journey to become confident and comfortable in terms of dating as a lesbian. It all started off when I graduated high school. 18, naive, never kissed a person in all my life. I was saving my first kiss for a girl. Granted, I did kiss a guy on the cheek at prom and honestly, I wanted to throw up. It was the most, like, I just felt so visceral. I wanted just to throw up. In high school, my mom dressed me, bought the clothes that I wore, and I thought I would want to change things up from the bowl haircut and cut my front bangs to side sweep bangs. And honestly, that just didn't quite work out very well. And as you can see, I'm a huge nerd. I had no concept of any sort of sex appeal. I mean, at that age, who, who, like, who even does? But I knew if I wanted to date girls, I needed to be a hot item. And what was I gonna do about it? Okay, well, hear me out. I made a list, literally, a list on Microsoft Paint, and I wrote out the things that I was gonna do to change about myself. I remember on the list, it was to get better clothes because I didn't like the clothes that I was wearing. It, I was a total nerd wearing perfume because I think it's good to smell nice. Working out because I was kind of chunky back then in high school and I think it's a good thing to be physically attractive, right? I wanted to be hot and I remember wearing on my list wearing contacts because I was pretty insecure about wearing my glasses. Okay, to all the gamers out there, you're gonna relate to me. I played a lot of MMORPGs in my time and I kind of took it this approach, right? Or is this this sort of theory kind of thing? I kind of think of life as like, you know, an RPG. But if you die, you die, you know? I really just wanted to rank up all my stats. So instead of like dexterity, it would be more like the confidence to talk to girls. You would still have charisma and hit points would just be like being strong in the gym, strength. Yeah, that'd be that's that's a stat. My goal was to become this most attractive, impressive girl that other girls would want to be with. I wanted to be this this person that if I were to ever be in a relationship with a girlfriend, she would want to brag to her friends about. That, I think, is something to strive for. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted her to be happy and proud that she caught somebody like me. And so my journey began. Starting out in college, I got to finally have my own independence. I got obsessed with learning about the gym, learning how to work out. I was learning to cook for myself. So. In this environment, things were under my control so I could change those things. I went from looking like a scrub and to actually start looking like I was being polished. I used to be really shy through grade school and I really wanted to work on being able to be comfortable talking to strangers, talking to my classmates. Honestly, I think having the ability to talk to strangers and making small talk is really a very safe first step to getting you to talk to girls. It helped build my charisma and confidence. It got to the point where I had talked to these people through campus of, of my university. There would be people waving at me at the bus stop, being, hey, hey Lisa. And I would wave back and unfortunately, I don't quite remember them because I've talked to so many people and they remember me. And I think that's something to brag about. I thought that was pretty impressive. Like, who are these people? How do they know me? I must have left a lasting impression. I joined Anime Club. Of course, I joined Anime Club as my first club coming into university. Well, I was interested in this girl. She was the ex-vice president of Anime Club. A bunch of boys were super into her, but she wasn't interested. Actually, my first kiss that I've had was with her. It was at a club, so we're kind of 
kind of drunk. I was impressed with myself that I was able to get a kiss from this girl that all these boys wanted to get with. But I was the one who just freshman walking in, she barely knew me, getting to know me for the first couple of months and she was interested in me. I was super into her and unfortunately it didn't quite work out. I got my heart broken and I didn't really handle it very well. Looking back, super embarrassed, but I don't know if you've heard, but queer people kind of develop later in their life because they don't get those sorts of experiences in high school. Here I am, 18 years old, having my first kiss. More on that in another video. So the first online dating website that I actually used was OkCupid. It was mainly as a joke. So this started when I was like, what, two, it was 2012. Very much stigmatized about the concept of online dating. People were like, how'd you meet them? Online? That's embarrassing. That was embarrassing during that time. 2022, it's, it's no big deal. Like people date, use Tinder all the time. But still, it was, a, it was a new concept back then. Well, I was using it mainly as a joke because I was not really looking or expecting anything to happen because I also thought, man, online dating, that's for, that's for losers. On OkCupid, there's prompts, questions, and you can answer them and that'll show up on your profile. So there'd be questions like, what is your favorite snack? And I'd be like, Doritos and Mountain Dew. Haha, <laughs> gamer meme. Favorite thing to wear, fedora. I put something about like a horse dildo. Huge bunch of meme references. So it started as a joke and it eventually evolved into me actually talking to some of these people and actually going on some dates. I thought it was pretty cool getting to meet these people in real life and actually going on these dates. It kind of built this sort of confidence in me, but I kept on going on these dates and I was trying to figure out like, what was it that I was missing? I felt like I just still wasn't good enough. I remember coming back home from a date. She was super interested in me. I didn't really care. It finally clicked in my head. Like I finally felt like, wow, you know what? I've been on five dates. I must be kind of hot or cute or attractive. I think it was because in high school, I was just considered this outcast, this loser, because I was hanging out with like the anime club people and not really having any sort of social skills. And coming to college and now finally like working and sharpening those skills, working out, being able to talk to people, having the charisma and charm to do that. It's kind of like, it's like a strange concept that I'm like now accepting that, wow, people want to date me. People want to be with me. And it was until then I was like, okay, I don't need to be going on these dates where I'm not even interested in these people. Eventually I downloaded Tinder because I want to know what the heck the fuss was all about. So this is when I kind of started getting more serious about online dating. I was looking at videos on how to talk to girls on dating apps, pick up lines, messages to send. And like I mentioned before, the advice that you find online, it was so cringy. So I really had to like watch all this stuff and read all this stuff and kind of sift through what was good and what was bad. So this is around the same time where I thought I wanted to get abs. Cause I thought having abs would increase my success rate with the ladies. Spoilers, it really doesn't. But I committed to it and it was, it was, it was tough. I ate chicken, broccoli, brown rice, boring bodybuilding garbage. And you know what? It worked. I can proudly say that I did at one point have abs. I think it was impressive as a test to how disciplined I was, but in terms of dating, it really doesn't make a difference. It's important to look healthy. The bigger part, not only that, is having a good personality in your approach to dating. Cause you can have stunning abs looking hella hot, but if you got an asshole personality or just don't talk to girls, you're not gonna get anywhere. So in this phase in college with Tinder, I learned to really just shoot my shot. It kind of got to the point where it was overwhelming keeping up with all these messages from all these girls. Truly a first world problem. Looking back, I think it was a really great learning experience, getting comfortable messaging with girls. Not only that, but like the mental aspect of it. Because there have been times where I would like go through a girl's profile and fall in love with her. I can just imagine myself with her, my future with this person before I even met them. And I'm definitely not the only one. If you are hearing this and you resonate, please put a comment down below. Us lesbians, we're not all that different. 
But I think the biggest lesson that I've learned from this whole Tinder dating experience when I was in college was the trial and error, the disappointment, and the resilience. I told myself that I need to keep on trying because there are gonna be more opportunities available for me, even if this girl didn't work out. So it pretty much leads me up till today. I'm definitely getting more serious with my dating rather than fooling around in college, but it was a good learning experience. So really the takeaway points from my story is looking back, I was able to work on myself and sharpen my weaknesses into becoming strengths. I sharpened my mind, my body, and my ability to communicate with people. I was able to build up my self-esteem and my confidence to realize that, hey, I'm a really cool person. People want to be with me. People want to meet with me. People want to be friends with me. I was able to conquer the fear of talking to girls from trial and error. And finally, I built the resilience after experiencing multiple heartbreaks and disappointments from girls ghosting. I hope my story of the trial and errors of me going through dating through college and learning was inspiring for you. No matter how old you are, you can start now and start getting better in terms of talking to girls and dating. If you found this video helpful, inspiring, please go ahead and smash the like button down below to help me and the algorithm to push this video out to people like you and others who need help. And if you liked my video and other content like this, where I talk about LGBT dating and my dating journey, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on another video. And besides that, thank you so much for watching and listening to my story. I will see you in the next one.